Welcome to part 13 of how a Japanese shoji screen is made. In this part you'll see me cutting the acrylic screen material. This material is 3mm thick and it has the appearance of sandblasted glass on both surfaces so it is very similar in appearance to the original paper that was made or was fitted to shoji screens in Japan. It lets light through but does not allow you to see through. This isn't a particularly easy thing to do with one person. You have to be careful to keep the, the acrylic hard against the fence during the cut. The material has a plastic coating on it or strip on it to protect it during the cut. Once it's ripped to the right width, it is then cut to length. It's marked and you can see me there checking that the that it's going to be cut in exactly the right point to give me the length I need. When assembled the material will go five millimeters into the frame right around gets locked into the frame. Thank you for watching this part of the series.